All right, what's up, everybody? It's me, Soul Supreme, and welcome back to Crusader Kings 3 in a glorious Kingdom of David run. Now, as we left off, we are still two years out from claiming the throne of the King of Ethiopia or Abyssinia, and we're also fabricating a claim on his younger brother, who is the uh, Duke of Axum, right here in Tigray. So we got a little bit of shenanigans with him because he is allied with the king of Nubia and that is annoying more than anything though he is in the midst of a civil war though I doubt he's going to lose it because he has like 2500 manpower or well more than likely he only has like about 1800 rays right now or just about 2000 rays um, and he is currently fighting Duke Marina, this guy right here. So, maybe with luck. I, oh, wait, no, I actually think that's the battle. The Duke is, a, yeah, the Duke, he's about to lose this battle. Uh, how much his war score just went up by 32%. Yeah, um, Mr. Duke, you weren't really. You didn't really have a plan for this war, did you? I mean, you only had the ability to raise at most 300 men while your liege had, could raise up, like, <laughs> 2,500. And, like, see, one of your immediate vassals is this stupid guy. A literal stupid man. Or boy, he's only 14. He's not a man yet. Uh... I actually don't know how long our leader can hold out for. He's wounded, one-legged, and he's also a leper. Uh, our new wife is also sick. That's beautiful. This kind of sucks. <sighs> Levi, the fate of our religion rests in your hand. If I could just stretch this out. If he could just stretch out just two more years for me. Uh... I could demand payment for my daughter. Uh, well, I could get my 10 bucks back. <laughs> I'm like, here, sweetie, you can get 10 gold pieces for being the core position. And I'm like, you know what? You owe me for raising you, so give me that 10 gold right back. <laughs> All right, so, hmm. I'm going now, my champion. It says I'm low on champion. We got this bastard Hakeem. Uh, I've seen so many variations of Hakeem down here. Uh, we could hire him. How much would he be? 10 gold pieces? You know what? Daughter, that's a reinvestment. I reinvested it in ourselves to get this bastard in our court. So let's also find you a nice, suitable wife, Hakeem. Uh, 23 years old, 15 stewardship. I would like her to be, what the hell? Oh, well, she's already pregnant. Um, she ain't related to me. She's a guest of my. Wait a minute. Oh, okay. Huh. Wait, I. <laughs> this is too suspicious. She's a guest of my. She has plus one hundred opinion of her. I think they're lovers. It, she's pregnant. She's also gotten the fornicator trait, which like would have threw her ass in jail. But it, it, it this is this is like more than a coincidence. She has to be his love. Okay, all right. Um, since my son is getting down with that, thirty-eight years old. She's stu uh, she, well, she's slow, and then she's also chase. Uh, well. We need more babies somehow. I live my. I, I am almost certain that's my son's lover. That's like the only way that would make any type of sense. Look at this. The only other person could be is Ali Nabit Kuratariku. It, yeah, it has to be my son. I know. I know Gondar. He likes getting into the shenanigans in more ways than one. Catch my drift. Man. I need to kill this little shit off because he's been uh, bugging me all day, like with his blast for me. Oh, like, he's fighting raiders right now. Oh no, you don't like being raided now, do you, buddy? I hope you lose. Lose, yes, lose. 
take money from him. It, it, excuse me? Oh, I thought <laughs> this dude was coming to raid me. Oh no! Well, there goes the wit of Gondar. Finally found peace at the age of 65. He died a leper. His putrescent body has finally succumbed to the scourge of leprosy. Well, Levi inherits. Levi. Hmm. This is going to be interesting. Alright. Uh, well, for starters, I did say I wanted to, like. Hmm. Uh, yeah, we need to have some kids. I, I'd rather have kids and deal with that as it comes. Alright, so let's see. Let's get our uncle a title. Um. I don't really like it because he does have a claim to the Arduchy. Alright, you can be our Chancellor, Uncle. I don't want you to be a dick. Please don't be a dick. You, woman, you will make a good steward. And. Huh. My uncle will probably be the best spy master. Oh, honestly. Ugh. Well, okay, the only reason I'll let him be Spy Master is because he's compassionate. And that's really the only reason. Since he is compassionate, I hopefully don't have to worry about him trying to, like, uh, bloody kill me. And then I can just assign my brother in law. Or, no, this guy. He got, uh, pretty high diplomacy. And apparently, I have a. Oh, I have a claim. I inherited a claim down here in Ampara. Interesting. Interesting indeed. Uh, let's unpause for a little bit. This is actually looking up for us. We can actually expand a little bit. A quick little uh, brief war while this dude. Hey, we don't have enough. Uh, Let's just wait. Let's hold up for a little bit. Well, he's gonna siege down. I'm gonna let them fight for a little bit longer. And actually, uh, let's start pressing my uncle. Oh no, wait, 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 wait. First things first. Bloodline. Let's, let's try to get our wife in the mood. We basically, like, our, our, grand, our dear grandfather groomed her for us. Let's <laughs> so, so I rather like you know take my chances with that. All right. So while we're going to do that, and he's chasing him off. Um, my liege's capital is being sieged now. Who the hell is this guy? Okay, he's minding his own business. As long as that dude stays over there, I'm fine. We need to get our stuff in order. Mm. I guess her noble righteousness. She's pretty nice. Yep. Alright. So... Our liege is fighting down here. He is currently low. Lower this to disgrace. Play. Oh yes, I forgot about this conflict up here. Uh, not really a good chance to kill him. He's allied to this damn king. Get one predicted agent. If I kill him, Nubia will pretty much... Let's see. Alright, so... Most of this land will go directly to his brothers. Oh, wait. Wait a minute. Okay, so she's the king of Nubia's. Okay, so it's just the aunt. 
Let's try it. Let's try to get rid of him. Who's also in the scheme? The dude. Uh, he, but he's about to get sent to jail. This might not be good. Yeah. I don't think this is going to work out too well for us. Yeah. I think we shot the gun over there a little bit too early. Let's just see where it goes. It wouldn't necessarily hurt us. And what's the worst he can do? He's over there. While this is going on, I'm just going to like... Look up in my leisure's uh, business to see what he's doing. Ah, oh, that little bitch. She gets to get away with this. Do we have any particular agents? No. And I don't want to kill him because then the brother will like inherit, and that'll be bad news for us. Uh. Yeah. Present my claim to T. Gray. Yeah, it's this, it's this damn King of Nubia. If he wasn't in this, I would have been able to jump on this. Instead, since we got the claim now, let's just hang about. And boost her pins. This is a good this thing with diplomacy. Alright, so it's just the unfortunate bits about this is uh, who is this guy? Raiders of Casalia. He is the count of Oh, he's this guy up here. Alright, and I really need you to die in battle or something, good sir. Wait a minute. Oh wait, is Elodia going to raid Nubia right now? If he if he goes to raid Nubia, this could. Oh wait, this could be a blessing. Okay, he is raiding. I just need him to like. If the king of Nubia gets into a battle with this dude, that's gonna like screw him over. Scheme resistance. No, let's just like boost our scheme resistance up for right now. And speaking of, I guess I could. Let's see. I can fabricate a claim on this dude up here. He got a thousand men. We got uh, 1500. Go jam down here. I guess I'll spread our faith a little bit more. Um, it's gonna be a nice little chill couple of years we got going on here. Yep, I figured that. I knew he was gonna get his ass locked up. Um, fight a duel with this dude, with my brother. And we won, gained 150 prestige. Nice, nice, nice. All right, so I lost track of the uh, uh, Elodian raiding band. But somewhere over here, I don't know if he's going back, but if he can go to old Dongola up here, he will screw them up. Now, Axum. Ah, oh, man, I wish I had like a better chance. I should. I'll probably like go down a little bit of a schemer tree this time around. Unfortunately, I don't think I'm on my Legion's council. Nope. He has everyone else on his damn council except for me, and I'm a much better person than this. Oh, only reason you do with this cause he's connected to you. You bastard. Not even 
like that closely allied anymore. Well, he knows I'm trying to kill him, so no point. All right, well that's going down. Um, actually, you know what? No, we're I'm gonna go back uh, down through here to uh, focus on meritocracy uh, in the next couple of years. So I'm just gonna have a nice little chill outing. Just need a little bit more prestige, just hundred more points. If I go on a hunt, that should give me just enough. Oh wait, I forgot I'm about to romance my wife, so this should actually boost it. Uh, I'm coming for you, my love. I need you right here, right in now. There, I pumped and dumped my wife. So now, with that, excuse me? Look at this son of a bitch. Where are you going? Oh, my uncle's invited me to a party. All right, let's go party with uncle. Yo, Gonda! It's good, baby, bruh, bruh. Got this. I see you impregnating your wife and whatnot. Where is he going? Oh, he's fighting off this. Mars Gonda announced a slight delay to serving the food, and what's her? Bara looks ready to pre burst with frustration. So let's see. I can do courteous guests. Um, leash opinion plus five. Diplomacy plus one. Okay. Or lose 20 stress. Mm. Seeing as how he's going around and trying to sleep with everyone, this is going to be fun. Uh, screw it, I'll do courteous guess. Why not, right? He gets a weak hook favor on me. I don't feel a little spy master, but mm, I don't want you to have a weak hook on me. You can go over there. Yes, go over there. Raid them. I lost 20 stress, and I learned of her witch's secret. Interesting. Oh, she's actually a damn good, like, character. I'll, like, blackmail her. And my wife is pregnant. Uh, okay. All right, so we got some, we got some eyes on this, like, court up here and if I kill him I can make the I can make this country a little bit weaker if I kill him because luckily he's impregnating the hell out of are they both lifestyle temptation oh my god what perverted freaks they're all trying to like have so many babies Alright, uh, we'll let him have his fun. For now. Let's see, how are our units doing? Let's also boost up their size of our military just a little bit. Well, this is all going down. Hopefully, once this cultural conversion is done, our son will be able to like convert that province on his own initiative. And my wife just miscarried. God damn it. Wait, 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 wait. He, holy war. For the Duchy of Lhasa. Oh, he's an attacker. Too. Okay. This might be it. I'm, I'm actually seriously about to take this gamble. The holy war just started. Let's see, where are they moving up to? Are you guys in this war as well? Let me see. So this is the territory they're trying to attack. And these are the guys defending Shoa. How do you, okay. Fuck it. I'm taking this gamble. This is like the best opportunity right now. Raise all the troops. We just gotta go go for it. This is siege down the territory, get the ticking war score.
17 months. Just head over here and smash this army. And I know of our Legion's lover's secret. All right. In case he gets like a reason to imprison us, I'll keep that. Wait, right, let them pass. We went for this battle. Alright, attack him while they're in the mountain. He's not gonna help. Alright, he wounded the enemy commander. Oh, we wounded the uh, prince. Alright. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Hit back up here. Let's just siege down this castle. And his son inherits? What did I say? King of Nubia. Oh! The King of Nubia died! Okay. Oh, damn. Well, actually, this is fine because he's already distracted. Just siege down this land. Um... Forest vassalization, that's not really going to help us at the moment. Children receive one extra. Mm. I could, but there's really no other counts around me. I mean, bar this guy, but he's just a fellow vassal. Um, Let me actually put it into... Yeah. Adaptive tradition, so we can go to flexible truces. All right, she finished promoting the culture. That's good. Losing some gold. have anyone okay he has siege efficiency we could use him let's see once I have departed this world my sister Delia shall rule in my stead unfortunately rumors of Delia's estates will gluttony have been spreading around my court it makes me wonder if she'll manage to retain my vassal support focus on myself and lead by example that gives me plus five general opinion. Uh, let's talk up her good qualities. See how far the siege go. Eleven months. Yes, marry my sister. I mean, I could call you to war now, but like, I don't know what you're gonna do. You guys are hit over here. Actually, swap you guys around. I have a son. Great. Taye. You know what? Taye. That's your new name. I have the hopes of a nation on you. I am sick. Kill me, sister, and you worsened my system, you bitch! Oh my god. Okay. That like, made him break the siege, so he's gonna piss off. Alright. This brought us some time. Alright, they're sieging back the lands. Luckily, since they're sieging this back, it's going to knock their war score down. We just need a little bit more time. So, let's see. Moved by my tribulations, Mayor Sinla has offered me her counsel and aid on many occasions, hoping to alleviate the burdens of my duties. 
Uh, man, I don't want her to become my rival. This one is much better. They both gain increased the pain. I get plus one diplomacy, plus 150 prestige, and minus 35 stress. Take it. Bada bing, bada boom. All right, we siege down capital. He's in. All right, this is siege down the rest of this. Get our siege leader back in charge. Lost the trade ill. Good. Need a new chancellor. Let's see. Hmm. Let's see. I will assign Hakeem as our chancellor for right now. Hakeem, you have any luck with her? Nope. Got three years, Hakeem. I know you're gay. And she's a slow, chaste, but brave woman. You're a bold fool, Hakeem. And you're also, ch oh, well, never mind. The chances of children happening were below nothing. I don't know why I even entertained that thought. All right, he's trying to seize back. Hold on. You won't be able to. They're retreating. The Nubians are retreating. And oh god, they are going to come and smash me. Uh, I have to hurry up and finish this war. Hang on. Uh, second max war score for battle. Okay, if I win one more battle, I think that'll uh, push me over. Chase him down quickly. Uh, do we have anyone with movement speed? No, get him right here. I don't care. We have to like just get him. Come on, we almost got 100% war score. Uh, just get the 10 prestige. Come on, just tick. Oh, uh, yes! This is how we do it. Yes! We just took over the Duchy of Axum. That is what I am talking about. Oh, yes. That, oh, sweet, sweet goodness. Sweet, sweet goodness. What duchy is this a part of the Duchy of Lassa? Oh, yeah, I totally have that. Um, that's a Duchy title. Uh, go to war with him soon. Yeah, but we, we succeeded. We took over the Duchy of Axum. Or at least the county of Tigray. Brothers made adulterous advances made incestuous advances what wait wait did hold up that's his opinion of hell so the king made incestuous advances towards his brothers you're sick you're the definition of a sick fuck. That's disgusting. Oh boy. Victory is ours and then while our liege is like declaring his wars, what is he doing? Wait a minute. She came to Duchy. Oh my god. So, alright, so our king is about to go to war in fucking Armenia right now to support his wife who just inherited the principality. How? Oh, she's like, the, his only son died and she was the oldest daughter. Well, that's shenanigans. Uh, how's the rest of Europe doing? Uh, Ormond is chilling right here. Yeah, nothing much changed. Sweden, uh, yeah, Sweden is expanding steadily. Jaland is up here. Surprised they didn't just take over this to form Denmark, but I guess because of the power blocks that are forming. Hey, Jesus Christ, these guys could raise up over 5k men. And West Frankia is defending against y'all 
uh, Haralder Fairhair of the Northman Army against the Duchy of Flanders. Okay, so seems that like he's being evaded to take, that they're going to take over Flanders. Uh, let's rate Konia is, let's see, the vet defending against the Vestalian conquest of the county of Dish Martin. Okay, Bavaria is chilling. Italy is chilling. Queen Armagard is chilling. Everyone's chilling. What about Ghana? Is Ghana still doing good? Ghana is still doing pretty good. Magan Wali of Ghana is a boss man. Like, Ghana is looking thick. Fazan over here is dying. Uh, <laughs> the Abbasids are attacking the Rosh Putna? What? What? Oh, he's an ally to the king over here of the Habari clan. I was like, <laughs> the Raj Bhutana. Oh my goodness. Well, I mean, the Kyrgyz Khanate is up here. All right, so nothing really crazy going on in the world right now, except our king is getting into this war. But, I mean, as long as he stays distracted, I see profits. Oh yes, Tege. I shall educate you myself, my boy. We shall like teach you the ways. Things are looking up for the good old Jewish people of the Gideon clan. I should knock on wood because I'm terrified of what comes next. Okay, so I do want to go to war with this bastard. Let's see, his sister will inherit. His sister is a damn good marshal. Um I could honestly, if anything, I could probably like seduce her to come to my court and pass her off to somebody else. That sounds a lot more disgusting. Actually, it is disgusting, but I was just thinking. About that. <laughs> Let me also sway my good old Unky Punky. Um, you have any? Yeah, we got some uh, cousins. She's nigh. Let's see. He's 17. He's a good guy. Maybe to like spread the bloodline out. Hopefully my uncle doesn't do anything dumb with her. Uh, yeah, let's see. Still 17 more months until uh, we convert this county. And my wife just helped me gain 150 prestige. That's also real nice. And speaking of, um, let's see, what does our good old king have? He doesn't have, luckily he doesn't have any damn, uh, what's that stuff called? Horsemen. We don't need it. We're, we're, we're getting, we're a pretty powerful duke, um, in all forms of respect. And sooner rather than later, uh, once we finish uh converting this county i'm gonna move up here and eat up the rest of axum myself and then effectively will be the majority of ethiopia my wife is pregnant that is good that is real good if anything i could just like uh create the duchy over here and just give it to um one of my heirs if we have another um, son all right Dear uncle, uh, can you find me secrets over here in Gojem? I, I want to, like, you know, start scheming down there. And I guess I'm also build hill forts right here. Because Kosoga right here is a pretty valuable strategic point. Um, man, I guess I could also build some more pastoral lands. But actually, I'm going to wrap up this video uh, right here, folks. So, already we're making steady progress towards um, our Imperial designs. And I actually think we are, like, strong enough now. Let's see. 904. So, pretty much at the end of this year, I'm going to start... Uh, I'm going to start putting up a claim on like fabricating a claim on the kingdom of Ethiopia kill him and then we'll establish a new order 
uh, in Eastern Africa. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I've been having like so much, uh, quite a bit of fun playing this. It's like, you know, a whole lot of touch and go, like back and forth moments. You gotta take opportunities when you see them. Like I literally went to war with this asshole where he was allied to this bastard right here. But luckily during the war, he like, um, his father, his predecessor was in the, caught in the holy war down here and he died in combat, blessed be the Lord. And his son, who is this weak, impotent, little sadistic bastard, is now in control. And he is fairly weak. Fairly weak. I would love for our king to move up north so we could like get um, in touch with the Nile up here. Like, And then we could possibly move into Egypt. We get into Egypt, we will be at the doorstep to the Holy Lands. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like, comment, subscribe to the channel if you would like to see more. And with that said, I hope to see you guys again soon. This is Soul Supreme, and have a great day, folks. Now this one is pure niceness.